Hello there and welcome to Omerta, City of Gangsters with me, Stocker Gloss. Yes, I don't know if this has shocked some of you, but um, we're going to delve into the Italian um, culture of mafia and blood, guns and rock and roll. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to start this off. Um, it's going to be my Let's Play. I'm a big fan of Tropico and uh, Calypso, so... Um, it's quite nice that this has come out. And also, I can remember playing the old Gangsters game, the uh, Organised Crime. Uh, Gangsters 1, as it were. Um, uh, Gangsters 2 didn't take off as well as I thought it would. Um, but Gangsters 1 was made by uh, Hot House Creations. Uh, check it out. It's, a, it's an old type game, but I, used to, I spent a lot of time playing that. So I was really, uh, really keen when this came out to... Uh, to at least do a showcase or a let's play of it for you guys. So, uh, a new game. Character Creation. Right. We are going to be called Don Stocco Rossi. No, we can't. We've run out of. Uh, I wonder if we can call Stocco. Stocco Rossi. There we go. That's a that's an Italian second name, isn't it? Rossi. Stocco Rossi. Uh, we've got to choose our portrait. All right, this guy. He looks pretty cool with his uh, with his big white collars hanging out. He looks like a football player. Um, he looks French. He looks like a, a, a cheeky chappy. He looks like a James Bond reject. Um, I don't know. I think I'll go for the Italian. Yeah, we'll go for the Italian football player. You grew up in a small village in Sicily. Your childhood nickname was Earful, Berries, and Hood. Um, I think we we'll go Hood. When you grew up enough. When you grow up enough, your father decided that you should learn diligence and learn a trade. You become apprentice to um, probably a stonemason. The most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was stealing the key for the village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you were discovered. <laughs> uh, wrestling an enraged bull with your bare hands—that's pretty cool. Sweet talking a local loan shark to give you a debt, to give your debt and give you even more money just until you get you back on your feet. Um, I see. You can see, um, these options matter to our um, our stats, as it will. Does it explain? Oh, in battle, the character of the high gunner has more action points and a higher critical chance. Okay. Uh, the character with high guts is less likely to panic. Smarts. Character with high smarts acts more often in battle. Toughness. A tough character has high overall health. Okay. Finesse. In terms of character's proficiency with all firearms and muscle. Move longer distance and perform better with melee weapons. So, finesse would be pretty good with firearms. Toughness. Actually, they're all pretty handy. So, um, to be honest, it's probably that one for me. I'll probably be stealing the liquor. When you were 16 years old, you fell in love with the prettiest girl in the village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Since you were challenged, you got to pick the weapon. It was a pistol, a knife, bare fist, or you let him pick. Confident you could beat him with every weapon. Yeah, because we're a badass stocker Rossi. You decided to leave Sicily and immigrate to America because a Don put a price in your head after you had an affair with his wife. <laughs> a vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors. You decided to pursue an American dream in the land of opportunities. Okay, well, what are we lacking then? Guts. Uh, a, vendetta, a vendetta wiped out your family, leaving you and your brother the only survivors. Okay, we'll go for that one. You can review your character. Yeah, okay. Medium. Yeah, let's go. America. Yeah. Here I am, fresh off the boat. Five bucks in my pocket, dreaming the American dream. I had to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick. Piao, pew, boom. The land of the brave, the wicked go unpunished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity. Even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. Success comes from giving the people what they need when they need it. Yeah. We're an Italian henchman with a with a conscience. Okay, so this is the map, I think, of uh, the Atlanta City, uh, Main Avenue. I got a drink five minutes after I arrived in Atlantic City. The prohibition hasn't changed much here. Tourists still flock to the world's playground for a drink and a round at the tables. Me, Freddy Tonino, and Squiggs got a room in the less prestigious part of town. We scraped up what cash we had and got our hands into the booze trade. 
Cool. Okay, so we're going into the booze trade, which is <laughs> my favourite ever uh, trade to be in. Uh, police presence, none. Okay, rewards. We got uh, a team member. You get plus one on the gang size, and we also level up. So, this is the uh, the adventures of Stocco Rossi. We're in Main Avenue. Combat. Most attacks will also consume all valuable move points. So take care before moving. What's that? Care to move before attacking. Okay. This music is awesome as well. Uh, dollar dollar is always used to indicate amounts of clean money. Okay, well we get through the. Uh, the, the I think this is going to be a tutorial to start with, but we'll get through it. Welcome to Atlantic City, boss. Let's look around our new home. Okay, move the mouse to the edge of the screen to pan the view. Uh, that's that's my Italian accent. It's it's, it's not very good. Um, it's not working. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and you can rotate by holding down the middle mouse button. Okay. So we can uh, check out our district here. Looks very nice. Uh, there's a beach. I found us a nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. Boardwalk. Click on the building with a hat sign above it to set the hideout and view more information about it. Okay, I've seen that up here. Uh, you can also move, use the arrow keys as well. There we go. A safe place to hide when things get rough. This panel holds inf important information about the selected building. Closes it by right clicking outside it. There Since we go. We're new in Atlantic City, boss. Boss. We should learn what we can about the district and gather some information. There's a shop across the street from our home. You can use buildings with a question mark sign above them to gather information about the neighbourhood. Set the shop by clicking the building or sign above it. Okay, so across the street. Uh, there we go. Either of these actions will allow you to learn more about the district at different costs. So, big spender. Spend some money to get the information you need. Good job, boss. I eagerly await your return. Thank you, Freddy Tonino. Assignments take time to complete. A gangster can only ah, can tackle only one assignment at a time and be available during the uh, unavailable for the duration of the assignment. Wait for the boss to return from the assignment. Can we see him? Ah, there he is. Look at him running. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, look at the rain effect. Oh, that's, that is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, let's check out the cars. Okay. Uh, click on the portrait to complete action. Looks like you found a couple of independent breweries, Bruce, boss. boss. We can steal some beer from them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like your thinking, Freddy Tonino. Independent businesses offer many opportunities such as buying, stealing, and selling alcohol. Aggressive actions such as the raid will allow lower your rel relations with the business owner and he may refuse to do business with you. Select one of the buildings with a mug, beer mug sign and use the raid action to steal some beer. So we... Uh, okay. Ah, there you go. So what do you want to do? Drive by? Raid? Oh, he wants us to raid it, doesn't he? Okay, raid the brewery for 20 beer. The raided business may bankrupt afterwards. Stocker Rossi is a mastermind. Action will be completed faster. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. Cool. There are far too many opportunities for you to handle it alone, boss. Why don't you bring in Squigs to help? You can hire additional gangsters and send them on assignments. This way you can run multiple assignments at the same time. The portrait of a silhouette with a question mark represents an empty slot for a henchman in your gang. Double click on it to view the available henchman. Okay, the Squigs. Can you join me, Squigs? We'll hire him. Fifteen dollars? No problem. Hi, boss. I heard that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol. We should steal their beer. Yeah, the beer. Since we can't afford to buy the alcohol, we simply take it by force. Who's going to stop us? Yeah. Gather 40 beer caskets. Okay. So there's another one there. So we can raid this one. It's a free country, isn't it? So Squig is going to go raid this one. And Stocker Rossi is going to raid that one. Great. Yeah. Go ahead, Squigs. It's down to you, bro. I want you to read it. Read it good. Yeah. Good work, boss. Now we can sell the beer and make some real money. I heard some Irishman is looking to buy beer. You should talk to him. Okay, whatever there's beer, there's the Irish. Uh, the most profitable deal usually comes from the jobs given by outside contacts. Click on the jobs button to open the job screen and view all available jobs. So, uh... We don't have many contacts yet, but that'll soon change, boss. In the meantime, you should maybe make a deal with the Irishman. 
Jobs are arranged into several categories, beer, liquor, firearms, money and special. Use the category buttons to find the jobs you want. Click on the beer job offered by Ben O'Connor and accept it. I was almost hit by a brick on the road today. <laughs> rethinking my life. I should buy some beer, open a pub and give up my life of crime and racketeering. Oh, uh, can you help a poor Irishman mind his ways? Yes, we can. You could buy 30 beers. Click on select which gangster you want. Yeah, we get squigs to go buy 30 beers for $450. Although we haven't got... Oh, he's buying. Okay, buying 30 beer. Yeah, okay, we'll accept it's it. A free the job's on the way, boss. You can take a look around the district while we wait for the job to finish. Jobs usually offer better prices than local businesses and opportunities. Use jobs to buy low and sell high, and you'll be making tons of money in no time. Jobs take time to complete. Wait for the beer job to finish. Okay. Well, let's uh, got anything else in the jobs. No. Okay. Well, I want to go shoot somebody. Wait for the beer jobs to finish. So, uh, we've only got $30 of dirty money. Uh, there's Stocker Rossi's inside there. What's all this then? Okay, so we've got... Gives you his stats, movement points, health. Uh, what his courage is like. Shotgun. Okay, he's got a shotgun. That's pretty cool. Talents. Uh, second wind. Heal half the damage taken and remove all negative conditions. Recharges on... Okay. I like the idea that you can uh, sort of level up your your henchmen. So, uh, Stockholm Squigs running the show at the moment. We're getting loads of beer. And we're selling... I can't really buy anything or do anything at the moment. I wonder if you can speed up time. Where is he? What's he got? He's got a pistol. Uh, defensive stance. Enter a defensive stance for this turn. Defensive stance, one turn. Incoming attacks have 20% penalty to hit chance. Okay, so he's quite hard to hit. Oh, he's done it. Well done. Boss, the job's done and we've got the money. We should use it to explore the district for more opportunities. Buildings with a question mark sign are called informants. You can use them to discover new independent businesses. Locate and question an informant to discover new information about the district. Okay, boss. We need a question mark building. There we go. Okay, informant. Um, cheers. Cost 10 beer. And how much? 100 dirty money. Um, yeah, we go cheers. Time to get my hands dirty. Yeah, come on, Stocko. I do love the details of this. It's a shame we can't go uh, sort of first person view, really. But uh, I do love the details of the map. So we got the informant. He's talking to him now. There we go. Great. Mars, I can't find Squigs anywhere. I'm afraid something may have happened to him. Oh no! Explore the map to discover what happened to Squigs. Look for a special action titled Where's Squigs? Circle sign with an exclamation mark. It looks like he's in jail. Where's Squigs? Send the boss to investigate what happened to Squigs. Got a lot of work to do. If someone's taking him, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go shooting. Farce. Some people saw Squigs get jumped by three goons. No. They dragged them into their car and drove off away from the boardwalk. The boardwalk. Squigs is held in a building with an eye sign above it. Explore the district to find it. Oh, no. Ah. Let's investigate that. Sneak into the warehouse to find and rescue Squigs. Oh, the yes. The Come on, then. Stocker Rossi is coming in with his shotgun. He's going to he's gonna save our friend Squigs. You mess with me, you mess with my shotgun. <laughs> uh, okay. You want something done right? Do it yourself. Yeah, you want something done right? Do it yourself. Squigs in trouble. Squigs is held in a small warehouse. Rescue him and escape. In this tutorial, learn how to command your henchman in tactical combat. Select a henchman below and click on a sign button. Well, obviously, we need to assign him, and we can't assign him either. Okay. Let's go. If you don't have enough dirty money to pay a cost, any available clean money will be used instead. So I guess we've got to try and build up the clean Time money. Time to get a move on. This is a tactical combat mission. You must rescue your buddy Squigs and defeat the thugs in the warehouse. Move the mouse over the edge of the screen. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is kind of like the um, XCOM 
uh, enemy and oh the red dot in your character screen are called action points and the green are called movement points to move your character yeah it's uh, a little bit like um you know uh XCOM enemy and you know the the uh the turn turn base sort of combat uh yeah go on you're exhausted your MP press the end turn okay there all right go. let's go all right let's go Right, let's hide in there. You've encountered an enemy. Try attacking him with your basic attack. To do so, click on the first attack button in the info panel. Um, if you're armed with a melee weapon, you have to move close. If you're armed with a ranged weapon, you need only line of sight indicated by the eye icon. Yep. Remember, most attacks only cost AP. Okay. So we take out our shotgun. And we go boom. <laughs> I love it. The initiative line at the top of the screen shows a character that is currently active and which characters will act in the following turns. Enemies and allies will appear there as they join the battle. Yeah, you mess with me. You don't have enough AP to make any more attacks. If you are done with your actions for this turn, press the end turn button. Okay, I messed him up. Really, he's only got 14 half points left. And that's the gangster. So it's his turn, then my turn, then his turn, then my turn, then my turn, then his turn. Okay, so it works on like a init you know, how many initiative you've got. Okay, so we then turn. It's your turn, bro. Hmm. Wow. Cover spots are advantage. Advantageous defense positions. Try moving behind a crate and attacking the enemies from there. Okay. We're gonna go uh we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna shoot him. Oh my god, how could you miss? Really? Stocker Rossi? Okay, you're dead. Ow! Your health bar in your info panel represents you or remaining hit points or HP whenever you are wounded. You will lose HP if you fall unconscious whenever HP are de depleted. The courage bar represents your remaining courage points. You will lose courage when you're wounded and due to some special attacks you m will regain a small amount of courage every turn. If your courage points before below 20, your character will become panicked, losing AP and MP until he regains his courage. Okay. What's this one? Knockback shot. A powerful but less accurate shot that knocks back targets. What's this one? Buck shot. An accurate shot that causes bleeding but does no damage. I just want to shoot him in the head with a shotgun. Nothing personal. <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. Well done, Stocko. Um, okay, let's end the turn. Time to get a move on. So, uh, where are we going? Let's move there. Can we see anything? No. Can we move there? Yep. All right, let's end the turn. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to be as cautious as I can. How many? We've got one more, so we'll uh, end the turn again. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's uh, run up to the door. Okay, I can see a question mark or something there, so let's end the turn because we've only got one movement mm. point left. And let's go in and shoot him in the face. You, you found your buddy Squigs. If you rescue him, he'll join you. Move the wrench <laughs> over. Oh, was that somebody there? Okay, how do I do this? Ah, oh, we've got squigs. Okay, uh, we can't go there. Let's go there. And then, okay, do we end turn and then we come? On it. Yeah, there we go. Um, how many has he got? He's got ten. Um, yeah, let's go there. Oh, mm. I hear people walking behind me. Alright then, Stocko, I want you to go here. Can you see anything? End his yeah, turn. Yeah, boys! I want you to, uh, I don't know, go there. Okay, I think this place is empty. I think they're this way. Hmm. Hmm. I can hear somebody. Let's get there, Stocko. Okay. 
Squigs, I want you down here. Ready, boss! I want you down here, bro. Hmm. I can hear something. Go on, stock out. This is actually this is actually quite intense. <laughs> I can hear people walking around, but uh, I don't know where they are. Unless, no, they're not around here, are they? No. You just make your way up there. There they are. Whoa, whoa, easy, tiger. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. You you can aim your attacks to maximize your chance to hit. Aimed attacks cost one AP more, but have an increased chance to hit. Oh, now you tell me. So, okay. That's an aimed attack. <laughs> Miss. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay, I'm bleeding, which is, uh, of course, it's 10 damage per turn. Oh, right, I've only got a few turns left. Ready, boss! Squigs, I need you. Uh, can I? No, I've got a 13% chance to hit uh, me. And I'm bleeding, so I'm not going to... 17% chance to hit me. No, we're end turn. <coughs> ow, ow. Stop shooting me. Oh, Time God. to get a move on. Okay, this is uh, this is bad. Stocko is dying. Um. Okay. Uh... Right, I've got him here, which is he's at full health. I'm sure Squigs can take him out. And if I use a shotgun, I'm going to end up hitting Squigs in the back or in the face. Um, so I'm going to move. I'm going to move there. And now I'm going to shoot this guy. Okay. He's pretty knackered. Your characters have various talents and special attacks that you can use to tilt the battle in their favour. For example, Squigs' special talent defensive stance. Yeah, we know that. We checked that out already. Okay, he's bleeding and dying as well. So, Squigs, get there. What does this one do? Precise shot. Yeah, I think we might need a precise shot. Uh... I shoot you, you yeah. fall down. When Squigs shoots you, you fall down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! I need a doctor! You do. But before you need a doctor, let's shoot this. No! Uh-oh. Um. Yeah, boys! Squigs, it's down to you, bro. Can you go there? Yeah. Okay, I really want you to shoot him in the face. I'm way better than you. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> All enemies are dead. You are victorious. Yeah. Okay, apparently we killed like 14 people and uh, I only killed one. Constructions require clean money. You can lord us some dirty money with Thanks an accountant. Thanks for saving me from those thugs, boss. I would have taken them out myself if they hadn't snuck up on me like that. Yeah, okay, Squigs. You've gained a level, boss. You can now choose new perks for both me and you. Perks give us passive benefits that improve your performance in combat. Each time the gang levels up, you'll be able to choose new perks for each of your gangsters. You can select new perks and change the weapons of your gangsters by examining them from the gang management window. Select a new perk for the boss. Okay. Perks. Uh, level up. Choose a new perk. So, range specialist. Increase damage with range attacks by 10. Increase your courage by 15. Gain two additional movement points. Increase damage with melee attacks. Increase critical chance of 5. Range damage increases 20% if the character has not moved this turn. Increase hit points by 15. Requires level 4. Gain one addition. Okay. I think we're going to go with the hit points. There we go. And also, Squigs is leveled up, so let's level him up. Um, what do I want from Squigs? He's going to be my... Uh, yeah, he's going to be my sniper, as it were. What's his finesse like? Yeah, 7. So it's quite high, so we'll go range specialist with Squigs. There we go. 
Level 2 burglar. Oh, right. They, they've got... Okay. I get it now. Close. Now that you've dealt with the distractions, we should return to the task at hand. Making money. Making money. Explore the district with the help of informants. Use independent businesses to collect resources, beer, liquor, firearms, and sell them via jobs. Some neutral businesses such as Speakeasy can also borrow resources. Make a thousand dirty money. Okay. Easy. Alright, this is our house. Okay. What have we got here? Brewery. Um, okay, we've got a brewery there. What have we got here? We've got another brewery. A speakeasy. Oh, can we buy the speakeasy yet? Cost 250 dirty money. Yeah. Yo, you must have warm relations with the owner. Ah. Uh, let's check out the jobs. Oh, we've got three jobs. One for beer. They're selling 60 beer. Okay. Selling five liquor. Selling seven firearms. Okay, I I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. Um, distillery. I guess we just keep raiding places, don't we? So basically it was saying uh, we have to go look at the... Um, Oh, what's this? A warehouse. Um, ah, informants. Time to get my hands dirty. So we need to find all the informants and lo unlock all the uh, things in the city. What's that? An informant. So let's get squigs. It's a free country, in it. There we go. So hopefully that should unlock some uh, some buildings that we can buy. And uh, there we go. That's how it's done. What's this dude? Some local moonshiners are making good liquor. Attack. Ooh. Some local criminals have organized a, a racket joint and making profits from other businesses in the area. What does Ambush do? By hitting the bag man, you'll get £500, but your relations with the owner will decrease. Yeah. Got a lot of work to do. Yeah, let's do it. And what's this place? The warehouse. Contains a lot of goods that can be illegally obtained. Uh, I think we can raid that. There's no available henchman for this task. Oh, okay. So, do do. Okay. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Stock over two five hundred dirty money. Lovely. Every dog has its day. Oh, what's this? Star, star, star. Celebrity. Having a celebrity in your pocket always creates a good impression, although often gullible celebrities have their uses as well. Lavish gift, performance, pull a scam. Um, I want to raid something else. What's this place here? A distillery. Wear this 20 liquor and gain heat. No, I don't want to... Don't want to do that. Um, I kind of want to take on the moonshiners, you know. What do we got here? What do we got here? What's this here? A distillery. A warehouse. That would be 40 beer. Can I take this? Yeah, let's do that again. Oh, this action cannot... This action will be available in 125 seconds. Okay. That's a residential building. Um, what's this? Informant. Let's go check a them real out. Boss ain't afraid of grunt work. No. So we've got to make a thousand. Well, we're nearly there. Um, let's check out the jobs page. We've got seven now. Beer. Selling 20 beer. Well, that looks like a good deal. My bootlegging network is currently the largest in the US. But I'm always... It's a free country, in it. we do that. So we're going to buy some beer. And then we sell it to a speakeasy. Hopefully for more than we paid for it. So. Uh, Great. Stock opening one place of interest. What's this then? A brewery. Well, we'll just wait for uh, Squigs to come back with a beer. And what other jobs we got? 25 beer. No, not interested. No. It seems that uh, liquor liquor is uh, really expensive compared to beer. So we might have to get into the liquor business. 
six firearms for 300. No, we're okay for the moment. Done, boss. Okay, so we have got 26 beer. So let's try and sell that then for some good money. Uh, doo -doo -doo. is it the speakeasy? Yeah, this one here. So if we supply 30 beer for 600, and we've got t oh, we need four more. Let's go to the job. Beer. Oh. Hey, soldier. Here's the deal. No rest for the boss. We got to do it. Is there another speakeasy around? Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's a distillery. Can we ambush this yet? No, 30 seconds. Um. Okay, we've done that. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Yeah. Right, we've got 51 beer. So let's supply... A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. So that'll give us 865. And then we'll have 20 beers left. Um, just seeing if there's another speakeasy. But I, I really want to attack the moonshiners. Ambush. Uh, you must have neutral relationships with the owner's users action. Oh, we can't ambush them again. What if we do a drive-by? Five... Uh, uh, protection racket. We buy them, mate. A thousand dirty money. No, that's how much we need. Um, I suppose we can raid a distillery. Okay. Beer. Buy in twenty beer. Oh yeah. Hi. I'm a proud Irishman. You know what that means. Yep. Need to get it's a free country, in it. So if we sell that, that's 600. That'll give us 865 plus the 200 there. I think we've done it, peeps. We've actually made a thousand pound. Great. Yeah. So uh, the speakeasy owners, please, with your new relations warm. I think we could buy it out now. For 250. Yep. Not at the moment, because we're going to sell... Squigs is going to sell some, and then we're going to have another two hundred dollars. There we go. No, that getting plastered is out of the way. Let's hit the town. It'll be legendary. Uh, I'll just take my money and go home. Yeah, we'll just take the money. Boss, it's those damn thugs again. The ones that beat me up. We had oh to no. take them out before they end up taking our money, boss. Win the hideout. Okay. It looks like we're going into combat again. Brilliant. I love the combat in this. This time we've got Stocker on Squigs. So let's assign you. Assign you. The goons that kidnapped the Squigs are back for vengeance, boss. This time they brought even more guys. Shoot all of them down and predict the business. Okay. Tommy guns inflict more damage when a character does not move before attacking. Oh, you get Tommy guns in this as well. Brilliant. Hmm. Whoa. I can hear stuff. Okay. I want you there. See me and you die. Okay. I still want you there. I'll take care of him. Okay. Now I want you to shoot him in the face with a shotgun. Okay. Um. Ow! I what? Okay. Um. Let's get you there. And can you shoot him? Okay. In turn, you're gonna shoot me in the face. Oh, you're gonna kick me through a win. You kick me through Time a window. To get a move on. Time to meet your maker. Oh, killed him. And oh, th this shotgun's brilliant. Now, do I need to move back? I can't move. I think once you shoot, that's it, isn't it? I am bleeding, though. Um, ready, boss. Okay. Ready, boss. I want to shoot this guy in the face. He tried kicking me through a window. Um, stomach shot. No. Let's just... 
Wow, you are one tough pickpocket. Oh, he's, he's thinking I've had enough of that. He's uh, he's Time having enough as well. On. Okay, I'm caught a break here. Um, Stocker, you're still in a bit of a bad. Can I repair? Second wind. Yeah, you just repair yourself. But get down. Hide behind, <laughs> behind the table. You crazy fool. Can I still shoot? Oh, yeah. Nothing personal. Nothing personal, but uh, you needed to. You needed yeah, to boys. die. Um, let's put you up here. And you can wait. You stop yeah. trying to. He keeps kicking hmm. me in the head. Okay, uh, boss, you fully healed? No. I'll get you healed. Um, can you move? You can't move now, can you? Oh, you can. Let's move you. Um, no, let's keep you there. Yeah, boys. Okay, you got 65%. I shoot you, you fall down. Yes, hideout shootout, we've won. So, Stocker got two kills, Squig's got one. Awesome. Your gangsters receive new talents at level four and level eight. Brilliant. Those goons were persistent until I taught them a lesson. Yeah. I doubt they'll be coming back soon. That's right, Stocker or Rossi. I fear that we made too much noise here. I think it's time to take our winnings and move on to another part of the city. You have won. Okay, achievement unlocked. The world's playground. Okay, um, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this first uh, episode. And let me know your thoughts and your comments and your likes and all that jazz. And I'll see you all very soon. My name is Stocker Kloss. This is Omerta. And uh, ciao for now.